Hey Adobe Live family, welcome back to the YouTube channel. For those of you who are brand new here, my name is Brittany Megan. I'm the CEO and head socialista of Socials and Stilettos, and I have partnered with Adobe Live for this exclusive eight-part series on how to build an iconic brand from scratch. And oh my goodness, I want to cry because this is our final eighth episode. And in today's episode, we're gonna be talking about all things making money with Adobe Express and creating a digital resource that you can either use to sell or use to grow your email list. And trust me when I say this episode is jam packed with everything that you need to know on how to do this from start to finish. So if you're ready to jump in, let's go ahead and do this. You guys, I cannot believe we're in the eighth episode. And let me tell you, there is that quote, save the best for last for a reason, because this episode, I have been waiting for this entire series. And like I was telling you before, today we're gonna to be diving into creating digital resources, but starting with number one, what exactly digital resources are? I feel like it's not only an underrated way to establish an additional stream of income as a business owner, but also such an underrated way to grow your email list and give value to your community. Digital resources can be used for so many different things, but the key with these resources is going to be adding some sense of value that your target audience or your community is going to find invaluable. There is literally so many different types of resources that you can create. You've got eBooks, guides, templates, checklists, the list goes on and on and on. And there's no right or wrong way to create a digital download or resource. Truly, you have to think about your audience and think about what they would find most valuable, but also what you would have the most fun creating. I'm a little biased here, but I am gonna say when it comes to creating digital downloads and resources, Adobe Express is an amazing tool to create these. There is so many different templates that you can choose from already created or ultimately at the end of the day create something that's fully branded to your own one thing that I truly do love about creating an Adobe Express is the option to create remixable templates which can be such an incredible way to allow your audience or community to customize whatever resource you're creating sometimes we like to create things in our own brand colors and make it look cute to obviously our pink and very femme branding here at socials and stilettos but we also understand that not everybody loves pink as much as we do. So being able to create something and then use that remixable template option so that people can then go and add their own brand colors and make it feel a little bit more like themselves is one of my favorite ways to create and also make everybody else feel like they have endless opportunities to customizing what we're selling as well. Before we jump into designing, let's take a couple minutes to think about what resource you can create to add value to your audience. And I really want you to go back to your ideal client avatar or that brand questionnaire that we filled out in episode one. And I want you to sit and think about what exactly your audience needs most right now. Maybe you're a nutritionist who your audience really struggles with easy recipes that they can create any time of the week on a busy day that are under 20 minutes. Maybe your free resource or your paid resource or something you're going to sell is going to be something that is five of your go-to easy under 20 minute recipes for the busy entrepreneur, right? See what I'm doing there? I'm speaking right to our target audience. For us here at Socials and Stilettos, one of our very first resources was our Instagram Reels Planner. And this is something that came super highly requested from our audience because we were always talking about what goes into our content days and how we love to plan our reels content. And everyone would ask us like, how do you do this? Like, what do you plan? How, how do I create reels that have strategy behind them? So we decided to create a reels planner that essentially really outlined our process to how we strategically plan out our content or short form video content, I should say, um, so that it is showing up with the utmost value online. And let me tell you, this resource, of course, we could sell it to make money. It's so valuable, but it was more important for us to build our email list at the time. So it lives as a free resource on our website 
And trust me when I say it's a juicy one. And it is still to this day, probably one of our most downloaded resources. So before you jump into designing anything, I really want you to think about your audience and what they need most from you right now. Maybe it's a checklist, Maybe it's a free guide. Maybe it's a template that they can customize and make their own. The sky is truly the limit. And once you're kind of operating from a space of keeping your target audience in mind, it's gonna be successful, whatever it is that you create. Now that we've gotten all of that out of the way, it's time to jump into designing. And today we're gonna to be designing the resource that I'm actually gonna to give to you at the end of this episode, which is our digital resource launch checklist. So if you're ready to start designing, let's go ahead and jump in. From the home screen, we're gonna go ahead and search for a template that we can base our new digital resource around. I tried a couple different keywords and when I found something that was really gonna work for me, I ended up landing on this one here. And let me just tell you, it actually looks nothing like what the resource that I ended up creating looks like in the end and that is totally okay. It's so normal for you to customize these and make them work for you. And always remember that templates are supposed to be a starting ground. Like don't feel limited by them when you see elements or assets that don't really necessarily work for your brand. Customization is key, especially when it comes to creating an iconic brand. As you can see here, I'm adding in my brand colors, my brand fonts, and most importantly, the copy for this resource. Having your copy ready to go makes designing so effortless. So don't be afraid to have notes to go off of or use some sort of like a Google doc or something to really draft up exactly exactly what you want to be included within your new resource. There are so many different things that you can create when it comes to resources. And this truly is like just touching the surface. Once you're done customizing, you can go ahead and decide if you want to download this and add it into an email workflow or make this into a remixable template for easy sharing. And it's time to start securing that bag. That was so much fun, right? I mean, designing in Adobe Express, I've said it before, I'll say it again, has truly never made things easier for me as somebody that is not a graphic designer. I think that no matter if you're somebody who has experience designing or not, there is something in Adobe Express for everybody. And it's such a cool platform to play around with, with so many different templates to choose from, but most importantly, a blank canvas whenever you need it to create something that is fully customized to you. Whether you're gonna create a resource that is created to sell so that you can make a little bit of extra money or to build your email list so you can grow your audience. The sky is truly the limit. I want you to have fun with this. And most importantly, if you have any questions, make sure you drop them in the comments below. As promised, I have a free resource for you. We actually just created it together. So make sure you head over to the descriptions box and download your free digital resource launch checklist so that you can start creating resources like a pro and you can thank me later. If you haven't already, make sure you hit the subscribe button. There is still so much juicy content where this came from and so many other incredible series that are in the works. I can't say too much, but trust me when I say you're not going to want to miss them. This is me, Brittany, signing off for the very last time. I can't wait to see you in the next live stream. And until then, stay social.